This is the All About Digital Marketing Podcast. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the All About Digital Marketing Podcast. I'm Chris Bruno, and today I'm here talking a little bit about why you should have a professional website designed. The reason why we want to talk about this is that so many people are out there and they've built something themselves, whether it be a WordPress or a Squarespace website or a Wix website, and they don't necessarily have the skills that are required to make this work the way they want to. Now, whatever the reasons that you've built a website are, and again, we always talk about starting with a strategy, starting with a why, starting with a reason, the chances are you're not maximizing the potential or you have a website that doesn't quite do what you want because you've tried to make it fit into a, a box, a box that is limited by your Wix website, by your Squarespace website, or by whatever it is that you're trying to do, or even maybe your technical knowledge of the subject. When it comes to professional web design, a company that can help you or a designer who can help you achieve your goals and achieve something that actually helps you to develop your business to help develop your sales to help develop your lead generation whatever it might be is going to be far more effective at that and it comes from years of experience here at social link we've been around since 2008 and in that time we've created websites for charitable organizations for healthcare for financial services for fintech for blockchain for cbd we've worked with all sorts of businesses but the one thing that we have in common and the one thing that all of our projects that we've dealt with have had in common is that we've started with what the goals are, what it is that the company, our clients are trying to achieve. And this is a big difference. A lot of people come to us and say, you know, I need something cheap. I need it cheap. I need it fast. The problem with that is you're not going to get quality. Nobody out there is going to offer you a 99 pound website that's going to have all the features and all the functionality. In fact, for a 99 pound website, we wouldn't even be able to afford a third of the hosting costs that we use for our clients. Why? Well, because we set people up with an account and a service for a hosting provider that works. We include things like a dedicated IP address, which at this stage, you might not even know what that is. It's all about securing the website that you're using. It's about having an IP address that's identifiable only to you, not a shared one, not something that, for example, will allow you to be on the same server as somebody else. If that other person does something bad, you're getting a negative review for your potential website based on that shared IP address. We also include things like SSL certificates as standard. Now, this doesn't sound like a lot, but when you go to a website and you see something come up with a flag saying this website might not be secure, it doesn't instill confidence. It doesn't help you trust that brand and it doesn't help you decide that's who you want to purchase from. So in that little tiny section of just what the hosting provider is, we're already talking about huge differences and things that people will not be able to offer for a cheap price point. And again, the old phrase and the old expression cheap is expensive and expensive is cheap is there for a reason a great quality product from day one is going to save you a huge amount of headaches time resources money potential future upgrades development costs whatever it might be to get to where you really want to be by going cheap at the beginning what you end up seeing is a website that does very very little or very very basic or doesn't really convert customers And eventually you're going to get to a point where you need to have it redone. And you can imagine that you're going to redo this process once, twice, three times, trying to find this until you realize that actually by paying a professional, by paying an agency, you're going to find yourself in a position whereby you have a product that really works, a website that is designed for you to achieve your goals and that helps you reach those goals. That's the important part. Now, whether it's an e-commerce website and the idea is to get people to subscribe to a newsletter, it's to get people to find out more about your products, whether it's to get people to sign up for a membership, it doesn't matter. All of these things are just part and parcel of what a professional web design would be. And I think that's really important for everybody to understand. There's 1% of you out there, by the way, that can build an amazing website on Squarespace, that you can figure it all out, that you've got that little bit of technical understanding enough to get you through that. But the reality is for the majority of people, that's just not the case. We see it with social media, we see it with web design. When people decide to go cheap or when they're trying to save money at the beginning, what ends up happening, they work with 
Johnny, who's the son of a friend who's just trying to do stuff or trying to make some extra pocket money. Uh, we see people trying to get the intern to do this, for example. But here's an analogy for you. If you owned a Porsche, you could buy a Haynes manual and you could try and figure out how to do the service yourself. That's going to save you a ton of money. But the reality is you've bought a product, you want a product that really represents who you are and how you want to be seen by everybody else out there. So why would you try and service your Porsche yourself instead of taking it to an authorized dealer who's going to make sure they do a great job? And yes, it's going to cost you more money, but it's going to be done properly. The same is true for your website. And I think this is really, really important. When we talk about things like e-commerce, like membership websites, anything with what we would call functionality, you're upping your game. A brochure website, as we would call it, would include anything, for example, that would have a few pages and maybe a contact form. But when it comes to e-commerce, you've got a lot of intricate parts. You're going to have a payment system that needs to be plugged in. Some of your products might have variations. Some of your products might require delivery. Some might be virtual products or downloadable products. How are you going to run all of those different aspects without having the knowledge or without having somebody there to help you do this? And this is where a professional web design company or an agency can help you to really build that business from day one in a way that you can manage, in a way that you can control, and something that you'll be able to move forward with and grow your business with. Achieving your goals with the technology and with the tools that are available to you has always got to be your number one. It has to be the first priority. If we're not going towards our goals or we don't know what the goals are in the first place and we don't have that web design, let's think of it as our storefront, our virtual storefront, looking hot, looking good, showcasing exactly who we are and giving that feeling of that brand that you want to work with, that you want to buy from, then what's the point in doing it in the first place? Again, we're not saying that you need to use us, but we would say and we would encourage everybody out there. If you've built your own website, if you've been trying to get your stuff together, if you've been trying to get something online and it's not quite working, now's the time to take serious action. Investing in something like a proper website, a system that's going to work, a back end that you can control, that you can manage, a system whereby all your customers are notified about orders, about shipping, that everything is branded. All of those components are what make a brand really stand out. It's what makes the difference between people thinking you're running the business out of your garage or it's a real business that I can trust and that I can purchase from. By the way, nothing wrong with starting a business out of your garage. We know quite a few companies that have done that and done very, very well. But you'll also know that a lot of them have moved a lot further past that. So if it's time for you to have a look at your website and to decide whether or not it's time to, to move forward with a professional web design, I think it's going to be hugely important that you find an agency that can help you to understand what your goals are. Understand you, your values, your brand, your company, your products, but most importantly, the goals. What are you trying to achieve? Long term growth takes time and you're going to want to have a website that will go with you through this journey. So again, guys, really quick episode today. Just wanted to talk to you guys about that. And remember, cheap is expensive. It will cost you a lot more in the long run. Expensive is cheap. Once it's done once properly, it's there. And you'll only have to do maintenance or updates as opposed to having to rebuild something in the future. Thank you very much, guys. Please remember to subscribe to the All About Digital Marketing podcast. Leave us a review. Feel free to give us any comments. And we look forward to speaking to you again soon.